and thanks for joining in on this video focusing on how to get organised for your BTEC course. I've had so many of you send me messages on Instagram and leave me comments under videos asking me what you can do to get yourself prepared for the course, so I thought I would create a video. For the past five years or so, where I've taught the BTEC Applied Science, one of the most interesting things I've seen is that the most organised students tend to do significantly better, even if they're not necessarily the biggest geniuses in class. What I mean by that is that you could be the most intelligent and academically able person in the room, but if your organisation is shoddy, you will find it increasingly challenging to succeed on this course. As a quick reminder from one of my previous videos, if you were doing the extended diploma, you would have six units in the first year, two of which are exams, and seven units in the second year, again, two of them being exams. In the first year alone, you would have four units which are assignment based. Each of those units will have around three to four assignments. So let's say you have about 12 to 15 assignments in a year. On top of that, you could have resubmissions for those assignments so you could have up to 30 assignments as well as the exams to revise for and any potential resits. There are about 39 weeks in the academic year so worst case scenario you have say 30 assignments that only leaves nine weeks to do everything else on the course so you start to see how quickly you can run out of time if you aren't organized. As students, some of you may even have part-time jobs, hobbies, or even caregiver responsibilities. And in order to have some semblance of a good balanced lifestyle, which allows you to have a bit of fun while studying, is really important for your own well-being. I don't mean to scare you by breaking it down like this. The aim of this video is really just to show you how easy it is to be organized and what you need to do to start off on the right foot. I would say the first thing you need to invest in is a notepad, A4 size, or even multiple exercise books for multiple units. My students use a mixture of these, but I really like the idea of having an exercise book for each unit, as all the notes for that particular unit can be together. You also need to get hold of a large ring binder to keep at home, and a smaller one that you can take into school or college. The one at home will be the one that's used to transfer old notes and worksheets, you can keep everything together at home for your revision. The smaller one can be used daily for each lesson or weekly and you can empty the, the contents of that smaller one out into the bigger one when you need to. With the folder you should also get some dividers so you can split up the units into sections to make it easier to find stuff when you need it. I find the use of an assignment planner works really well too. This is one you can download for free from my test shop, there's a link for that in the description. If you write down all the assignments that you've got due in and allow yourself to write in the hand in date and the grade that you've got, as well as the resubmission date, you can get organized and it will allow you to track your work and the grades so that you can stay on top of your workload. Another way to keep on top of your work is to get a student diary. I find these super useful as a teacher and I use one daily to write down my lesson content, what I need to carry with me, which worksheets I'm using, and that way at a glance I know what I need or what I'm doing that lesson. For you, you could write down days of your homework or your tasks, what you need to complete, assignment deadlines or any questions, anything like that. And if you've got a to-do list in these, you can tick it off as you complete it. These student planners are only about £3 in stationery shops, but I really feel they're worth so much more when it comes to knowing what outstanding workload you have on. Lastly, I wanted to create some tips for success that I think that might help. I always tell my students to start their assignments on the day they're set, even if it's just starting a small part of it. Leaving assignments to the last minute may mean you don't get higher grades, and if you miss the deadline, you wouldn't get a chance to resubmit that particular assignment, which then could lower your grade. I would also make a daily to-do list. Make each task smart. What I mean by that is to say that the task is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timely. And you should be able to stick to this to-do list. Don't put too much on it, otherwise you won't be able to tick things off your list. And make that list as realistic as possible. I do this on a daily basis in all aspects of my life, whether it comes to work, personal life or anything like that. It helps me feel like I'm not holding on to things or trying to remember random information in my head. Essentially, I feel less overwhelmed, which helps my general well-being, especially when I feel so busy all the time. 
make sure that you ask lots of questions. This goes for in class, out of class, in tutorial. Ask about deadlines, ask about what your teacher's expecting from you, communicate with your teachers openly about the challenges that you might be facing, and be open minded and curious. That's how we learn from each other. One of the key areas is to understand the specification. I will be creating a separate video on this to give you an example of how to read the specification, but make sure you look at the unit spec to see what is required of you in terms of skills and knowledge. These specifications include information on how to achieve a pass, merit and distinction in your work, and so it's crucial that you read them regularly. I would also mention that it's important to ask for help if you need it. Some of you may miss lessons, not understand certain topic areas, or even have learning challenges. It's important to communicate clearly with your teachers and ask for help. Many schools and colleges have student support teams in place, as well as learning advocates who can help you achieve your very best in and out of class. And lastly, believe in yourself. I know it's been a bit of a stress for many of you following results day and the current climate may have affected your confidence in your academic ability, but you are about to start a new academic year. So it's a fresh start. Be optimistic, try your best and don't give up when things get tough. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I hope you found it helpful. If you've got any questions, please comment below this video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck and bye for now.